Guard the treasure entrusted to you. From Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus. God himself chose me to be an apostle, and he gave me the promised life that Jesus Christ makes possible. Timothy, you are like a dear child to me. I pray that God our Father and our Lord Christ Jesus will be kind and merciful to you and will bless you with peace. Night and day I mention you in my prayers. I am always grateful for you as I pray to the God my ancestors and I have served with a clear conscience. I remember how you cried, and I want to see you because this would make me truly happy. I also remember the genuine faith of your mother Eunice. Your grandmother Lois had the same sort of faith, and I am sure you have it as well. So I ask you to make full use of the gift God gave you when I placed my hands on you. Use it well. God's Spirit doesn't make cowards out of us. The Spirit gives us power, love and self-control. Don't be alarmed to speak for our Lord and don't be ashamed of me just because I am in jail for serving him. Use the power that comes from God and join with me in suffering for telling the good news. God saved us and chose us to be his holy people. We did nothing to deserve this, but God planned it because he is so kind. Even before time began, God planned for Christ Jesus to show kindness to us. Now Christ Jesus has come to offer us God's gift of undeserved grace. Christ, our Saviour, defeated death and brought us the good news. It shines like a light and offers life that never ends. My work is to be a preacher, an apostle and a teacher. This is why I am suffering now, but I am not ashamed. I know the one I have faith in and I am sure he can guard until the last day what he has trusted me with. Now follow the example of the correct teaching I gave you and let the faith and love of Christ Jesus be your model. You have been trusted with a wonderful treasure. Guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives within us.